an external apparent fitrah. And this is to deal with our bodies. There are, or there's a hadith which mentions five, and there is another hadith which mentions ten. One narrated by Anas, and the other is narrated by Mother Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. So we will go through them quickly. Uh, the hadith five practices are part of the sound nature, circumcision, shaving, pubic hair, plucking air, air, uh, armpit hair, clipping nails, and trimming the mustache. So number one, part of the sound nature, part, part of the external fitra is one, shaving the pubic hair. And this answers the frequently asked questions by women in the subcontinent. Can a woman use a razor blade on her body? The answer is yes. There's no problem in that. Yeah, but the elders say this or that. Ignore the elders. They don't know what they're talking about. The hadith is crystal clear. Men and women are instructed to remove their pubic hair with a razor blade. Can we use creams or um, substances that allows us to pluck it? You can. But the sunnah is to use razor blades. So what constitutes pubic hair? It's the hair that grows over and around your private part. So does that include the anus? The answer is no. But if you remove that and it's <coughs> easy for you, so be it. Number two, circumcision. And this is for men. Males are mandated to be circumcised. And the sunnah is to circumcise a baby boy when he's seven days old. This is less painful, quicker for his recovery, and it's a sunnah. Female circumcision is an issue of dispute, but no one had ever said it's mandatory. And nowadays, <clears throat> to my knowledge, <coughs> it's only practiced in like less than 5% of the Muslim population. Less. <coughs> Excuse me. And enemies of Islam want to tarnish the reputation of Islam by claiming that Islam promotes what they call female genital uh, mutilation and this is not circumcision this is tribal things that might be found in Africa but it's not done anywhere else look at Indonesia 250 300 million Muslims it's not done look at the Arab world it's not done so you cannot compare or condemn Islam because of the doings of a small percentage of people like we Muslims cannot condemn the Christians for atrocities done by a handful of them or massacres done by a handful of them. It's not fair. Thirdly, trimming the mustache. And of course, this is for men. Women are more than welcome to trim it, rather remove it altogether. But men, they must trim their mustaches. Sometimes you find people with mustaches covering their upper lip, and this is haram. Oof, haram? Yes, it's haram. The Prophet said in an authentic hadith, he is not from us who does not trim his mustache. Whoa, so this is a serious thing, not an easy thing to uh, go by. Uh, number four, nail clipping. So you're not allowed to have long nails. I've seen some men having this pinky nail this long. And the rest are all cut. 
only one one hand. I said, Akhi, what is this? He said, well, you don't know. We maybe need it to you know, use with some vegetables, and sometimes I, uh, I clean my ears and some lace in my head. A'udhu billah. This is not clean. This is un-Islamic. You have to clip it. So that when you eat, when you clean yourself, when whatever you do, there's no dirt underneath. And number five, plucking armpit hair. This is the sunnah. But if someone is having a problem with that, then they can either uh, uh, use a razor blade as well or any other material that they feel fit uh, that it would do the job for them. Again, Imam Shafi'i, may Allah have mercy on his soul, said that plucking the armpit or shaving it is the same. It's up to your convenience, but we know what is the sunnah of the Prophet wasalam. And we also have um, okay, it is clear that Islam urges us to attend to these practices uh, for uh, uh, a good appearance, for uh, going against the practices of disbelievers and ignorant people, and to earn reward. Among the sunnas of nature is siwak, because Cleaning your teeth and your mouth and having an a, a acceptable smell is part of the nature. Blowing your nose, cleaning it, pulling the water up your nostrils and blowing it out and rinsing the water in your mouth, washing the back of your finger joints, so here and underneath your knees and in your toes, Cleaning this area is also part of the uh, practices of sound human nature. 